What's up guys and welcome back to On The Brick with another sponsored video. Today's mock comes from Zero Toys, who sent me this pirate ship in a bottle for free to show off to you guys. If you remember, about a year ago Zero Toys sent me this botanical gardens modular which I showed off and was a really great build. So when they reached out asking if I wanted to review this pirate ship in a bottle, I said yes because yeah, this thing looks awesome. The original official LEGO version of the ship in the bottle is actually one of my favorite idea sets. There were definitely some elements about it that I didn't really enjoy, but the final product was really nice and I'm glad I got it when I did. And I think this build can make a great companion piece, so let's talk about it a little bit. First things first, the base is entirely unique to what the official LEGO version is. This is completely redesigned to fit the pirate theme. So not only are the colors completely different, as you can see, a skull is actually integrated into the build. Sure, you don't really see it once the ship is in place, but it's still really cool to have that there. And this is also really sturdy, so just like the original, it will hold the ship extremely well with no problems. And you might be wondering why that front tile area is blank, but don't worry, I'll get to that in just a second. For now though, I also wanted to show off the cork at the front of the bottle, which again is slightly redesigned from the original version. This one of course still sticking with the black and yellow color scheme, and it really does look like there is a cork in a bottle. I know it's pretty much a direct copy from the official set, but I just love how it was done. Now, one of the problems that I did have with the original LEGO version of this is that the bottle itself was kind of a boring build, and a little fragile to be honest. It was definitely not the most fun part of the ship in a bottle. And in all honesty, this version is exactly the same. It is a one-for-one -one recreation of the bottle, so if you did not enjoy it the first time around, you're probably not going to enjoy it now either. I do think the end result looks great and definitely gives you a good view of everything inside, and I don't really know a better way to have done it. And I don't think it was bad, and I can't really say it was boring, that's not the right word. There was just something about building the bottle itself that I didn't really enjoy. But of course, what's important isn't that, but the pirate ship inside. And this thing was actually a lot of fun to put together. This is a completely different build than what you have in the official LEGO version. I was worried that it would just be a recolored version, but no, it's actually quite different. I'll show you a comparison in just a few moments here, but yeah, these are two very different things. The pirate ship is actually a lot bigger. It also has the cannons on the side, which I really enjoy. And even the way that the sails are made, is different than the original version. I like how they even managed to make it look like there was a door to the captain's quarters. I don't know if that was intentional, but it's my headcanon for this build. Actually, I don't even know if I've ever talked about just how much I actually love pirates. Like, Pirates of the Caribbean is one of my favorite franchises, so of course I'm gonna love this thing, and if you love pirates too, then you probably will as well. And you know what else is really awesome is that the differences don't stop there. Even the water that is included is different. If you remember, in the original version, you had 247 light blue studs and you just had to put them in, but here, it's not just that. While you do still have the same exact amount, which is kind of funny, they also included different ingots and gems as if it was pirate's treasure, and I think that is a really nice touch. Now, one thing that I will say is with this being a mock, there is a difference that I would make and highly recommend. Add more water. It's a pirate ship in a bottle, or just even a normal ship in a bottle. In fact, it was my biggest gripe with the original build as well. While there's definitely a decent amount in here, it absolutely could use more. And lastly, the final thing you build here is a pirate chest that does not really connect to anything. There's no place for it on the stand, so it just sits on its own. You have some weapons, some gold. It's alright. Personally, I don't really care for it. So here's my not really great comparison between the two. They are actually the same size and everything, but you can see that they are distinctly different ships that they do stand on their own. And I'll tell you, if you have the original, this really does make a wonderful companion piece to it. Especially because it actually comes with a light up kit that you can use. 
I personally chose not to since I won't be lighting it up, but it is included with the cost so you don't have to pay extra for it or anything. But there was one downside with this. For some reason, I did not actually get physical instructions with it and was instead sent the digital instructions. Now, personally, I don't really care. I'm okay building off of either. However, the pirate ship in a bottle does come with stickers, which is why that black 2x4 tile on the front is blank. It's supposed to have a sticker on it. The cork on the bottle is also supposed to have a sticker, just like the original one does, and even the sails of the ship are supposed to have the skull and bones on them. Now, while that does irritate me just a little bit that I wasn't able to do that, I do think that the design of the ship in itself is good enough that you can tell it's a pirate ship without really needing the extra details. It would be nice to have the stickers and whatnot on the rest of it, but oh well. I still think this was a great piece and I'm very thankful for Zero Toys for sending it my way. If you're interested in getting one of your own, there should be a link in the description down below. And I would also like to know your thoughts, so please leave them in the comments, remember to like and subscribe, and if you really want to help out the channel, then consider checking me out on Instagram, Discord, and of course on Patreon where you can join all of these wonderful people, get shoutouts like Jonathan, and extra entries into the monthly minifig giveaways. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.